Hey guys, Corey Smith here, Core FX. Uh, I just wanted to do another trading video here. Um, did a video earlier this morning on a potential trade with a Euro CAD long in case the um, rate statement that the Canadian Central Bank released today, um, just in case it fell short of expectations and they didn't increase, uh, was looking for a strong bearish move in the CAD. But uh, I play both sides of news events and just enter whichever one ends up going in my favor. So this is going to be the trade that I took. This was for the CAD strengthening on the forecasted rate hike to three quarters of a percentage for the overnight rate. So just do a quick little breakdown for you on how I found the trade and how I uh, trade these events. Real quick, brief, brief video. So as you can see here, the Canadian dollar had the rate statement. On top of that, the U.S. dollar had uh, Yellen testifying, and she's been a little bit more dovish lately. Um, uh, economic reports out of the U.S. haven't been as good as they've been in the past recently, so there's not been much inflation, and um, the Fed doesn't really have too much to tighten on, and there's not too much for her to be hawkish about, and she has seemed dovish lately, so I kind of went into this with anticipation on the dollar potentially weakening as well. And then you had the crude oil inventories, which is another mover for CAD since they are very dependent on the energy sector. Our, the U.S. is one of the biggest consumers of oil, so our inventory levels determine supply and demand for oil and how the price of oil is going to be affected, which is directly correlated with Canadian dollar. So basically, there was a perfect storm of events right here. Could have gone either way. I could have gotten stopped out quickly, but it ended up being a almost 200 pip trade. So I'm just going to show you real quick here how I did it. Starting with um, what I do is I use this tool here on Finviz. It's currency strength. Uh, indicator shows the currencies that have been performing uh, against each other. Here's the 1.33%. This means basically it's set on the weekly right now. This means in the past week, five trading days, the Canadian dollar is up 1.33% overall. Aussie's up 1.02, yen's up 0.65. And then on the reverse side, you've got New Zealand dollars down 0.13, the chefs down 0.02, and the US dollar. So. The dollar is the basket it's compared against. That's why there's no. It shows it as being flat there, but it's on the bearish side of things. So basically, what I do is I start here. Um, I'm going to be pairing up strong versus weak currencies, and starting with the daily and the weekly, I'm going to pick the bottom three and the top three. So the bottom three: New Zealand, Swiss dollar. Here it's Euro, Swiss dollar. So the dollar is in the bottom three in both. The dollar is one of the charts I was looking at. And because of the Yellen testifying in the perfect storm that was going on there with news events, I was looking towards the dollar just in case the CAD strengthened and there was a rate increase. So start with currency strength. I'd go in more of the detail with my training. But then I, would, I went over to the dollar chart and another thing it has to be is trending. Uh, I have an exact way to determine that, but um, I'll go over that with my students. This you can see. You know, there's periods of consolidation and then there's pulses down. It's clearly in a downtrend. Um, so that was another good thing I wanted to see because I want to stay in the direction of the trend. Forex is known for strong trending moves. So I'm going to want to be with the trend, not against it. So before this massive bearish candle here on the four hour chart, what we saw was this. Okay. So I saw bear flag I saw a bear flag flag forming here moving averages are showing bearish movement in a downtrend price came up and as you can see here this was also structure support support strong candle breach resistance 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 right so technically this is all hours of point in bearish you can see a beautiful double top here on the hourly chart, right? So I noticed this low basing pattern. Canadian news is coming out. In case the rate hike was anticipated, this would be strong Canadian dollar. US dollar had yelling, speaking, dovish comments and all. So this was the ideal setup here. Then what I did was I went down to the hourly chart, found this up here. Top, top, failed to break. This is the high made right here at the top of this wick. As you can see, price failed to go up there, failed to pass it. This is showing me that 
we've got a technical setup here. So what I did was I made my first entry here below the break of this support. And then I had a confirmation entry down here at the break of previous structure low. Got my two entries to profit around here somewhere. Second one I'm trailing. Uh, I'm going over more in detail with the entries and trailing profits with my students. Stop could have been set somewhere up here. I used the ATR to make my stops as well. Above previous structures, perfect stop. A little bit wider stop than normal. Smaller position size as it's a news event. Price can chop and move quickly in or against your favor. And as you can see, this one moved in my favor and price dropped off here and we got in at about 95 for the first entry. No, sorry. We got in about uh, 1.28, yeah, 95 right here for my first entry. And price just, floor fell out from there. Just fell, 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 fell. So we were at 28.95, 100 pips, almost 200 pips. It altogether has gone 200 pips. Right down here would have been 200 pips. See that? 7.95. Oh, wait, no. 300 pips. Sorry about that. So as you can see, this was a massive move. Yeah, I was right the first time. 200 pips. Okay, so massive move. And that's the beauty of trading news events. Um, 200 pips normally with swing trades, position trades, when you're going for that kind of a move, it usually takes hours, days, weeks to fill. Um, this happened in a couple hours. I was up 100 pips in the first 20 minutes. So um, this was a great trade here that I caught this morning on the dollar CAD. And uh, students of Core FX, I go over the news trading, how I trade the news, what I look for, and um, exactly how we can line up technicals with fundamentals to find the perfect opportunities to make big moves like this. And as I said, this was just the perfect storm of news events doesn't always happen this way. This is a good trade. This is not an everyday kind of event. This is a rare event in itself. And on top of that, it happened to line up perfectly with a couple other news events. As you can see here, the oil inventories were lower than expected. Um, low inventory means low supply, which means there is a high demand. Supply is low. Oil prices go up. Canadian dollar goes up. That on top of them raising the interest rates was just floor fell out, as you can see. On the higher time frame here, downtrend, 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 and we have extended this leg very far. Price is pretty overextended at this point. I don't really expect it to fall below uh, 25, to be honest. And if it makes 25 by the end of the week, that would be great. But um, this is our, our more medium term floor. I expect some more levels and chop down here and then go from there. But yeah, so again. Go to my website at uh, corefxtrading.com, corefx, my Snapchat, my Instagram. You can check them all out. Follow me, subscribe, like, comment. If you like these videos, I'll start doing them more often. Things have been crazy in my life with a new office and all kinds of stuff going on. But now that things have slowed down, I will start making much more content. And uh, depending on what my viewers like will be what I release. So if this is the kind of video you like, I can start doing live trades. Um eventually and until then I can start recording trades like this and showing you guys different things but yeah thanks for, thanks for taking the time to watch this thanks for following thanks for subscribing thanks for liking thank you all and have a great day